Hey guys, Steve here. Thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. I'm really excited. We have a new tech guy. His name is Tim. He's right here beside me. He is going to show you the coolest little program. He found this uh, program called CC Cleaner. It's a free download and it's going to do all sorts of wonderful things for your computer. I'm going to let him take over and uh, tell you all about it. Well, thank you for that great introduction, Steve. We have a really great program today. CC Cleaner allows you to clean out your temporary files, your old cookies, your history, all the junk that builds up in your web browser over a long period of time. It also lets you clean out Windows old system or store point, registry problems, and the best part is it's completely free. Let me go ahead and open it on the computer and I'll show you how it works. So once you install CC Cleaner, the first thing that's gonna happen is you're going to get a pop-up window that asks you if you wanna intelligently scan for cookies to keep. That's going to be for things like your login for your website, and you definitely want to go ahead and click yes. It's going to go ahead and detect the cookies, and it's going to bring up the main CC Cleaner window. In here, it's a lot of great options. You've got a checklist here. If you want to get rid of your old temporary internet files, your history, your cookies, your recently typed URLs, which is your history of where you've been to and what web addresses you've typed in, your index files, and your last downloads. What I would suggest the very first time you run this is to go ahead and click off history, click off cookies, and click off recently typed URLs. That way when you type in a website like CNN or MSNBC or Fox.com, you don't have to retype the entire thing it remembers that you typed it once before. You're going to want to scroll down a little bit and you have some more options for recent downloads, for your run commands, for your thumbnail caches, for your taskbar. You could just leave all those checked. And then a little further down, again, it's going to have things like your recycle bin, your temporary files, your clipboard, things called memory dumps, which are related to if your computer ever crashed, and um, other various check disk file fragments and Windows log files. If you go ahead and click Analyze, it's going to give you a total of what those files are. And it's asking me right now that it would like to close Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox. Go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to go back down over here and we're going to close out of our web browsers. And we're going to run Analyze one more time. Now it's going to show me here, if you look, it shows a grand total of 94 megabytes. That's 94,230 kilobytes of temporary files that were in Internet Explorer. In the system, it had 2,064,000 kilobytes, which is over 2,000 megabytes, which is 2 gigabytes of wasted storage from system temporary files that have been stuck in this computer for a very long time. If we want to get rid of all this, we're just going to click Run Cleaner, and it's going to tell me that it's going to permanently delete it. Am I really sure? I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it is going to run through and delete all of these old temporary files and all of those system temporary files that have been stuck in my computer, eating up valuable space. If you go onto the registry tab, you're going to have a registry scanner. If you go over and scan for issues, it's going to scan through your registry, which is kind of Windows configuration file that tells everything how it works. And it's going to look for problems like files, maybe a program you uninstalled, and it still has some references to that program inside of the registry, or files that you open once with a program that you don't have anymore. It's gonna scan through the entire registry, find all these problems, and offer to fix them for you. So go ahead and click Scan, and it'll go ahead and process a scan for you. It takes about two to three minutes, and it's gonna bring up a whole list of different issues. Go ahead and say Flix, uh, Fix Selected Issues, and it's going to ask if you want to make a backup of the changes before you do them. I definitely recommend making that backup. You're going to click yes, and we're just going to name that backup, backup, and today's date. It happens to be the 23rd. And we're going to click save. And then it's going to ask me if I want to fix all the issues. We're going to fix all selected issues. It's going to run through all of them and fix them for us. And it said it's fixed 421 out of 421 issues. The last option, which is really, really fantastic in here, is the Tools menu. The Tools menu has things like a built-in uninstaller, a checklist for everything that's automatically starting with Windows, and you can kind of see there's just a ton of stuff. For example, here we have the Microsoft Bing Bar, which is a search bar from Microsoft, but I really don't need that loading every single time I open my computer, and quite frankly, it slows your computer down every one of those that you have on there. So I can click on that Bing Bar, and I can click Disable, and that's going to go ahead and disable that Bing Bar from automatically opening the next time I start up my computer. Another really great tool in this is System Restore. 
it's going to pull up a list of every one of those system restore points that Windows has automatically created. If I'm running low on space, I can go ahead and click on some of the older ones, and I can click on this Windows 7 Service Pack 1, and I can click Remove, and it's going to ask me if I want to remove the selected restore point. If I press OK, it's going to delete it out and open up a lot of space that was being used by that system restore. And the last feature I want to talk about is called Drive Wiper. Drive Wiper is really nice if you needed to securely erase information. Let's say you had your tax returns and your documents on your hard drive, but now you want to give your old computer away or you want to donate it to charity. Once you're done deleting out all your personal information, you can go ahead in here and you can select Free Space Only Wipe select your C drive and press wipe and in about six to eight hours it's going to securely delete all the files and wipe out the free space so no one could recover it and you know get out your old information that was still on your PC. Right because just because you delete it doesn't mean it's not still on your hard drive. Basically when you delete a file what happens is the file is marked, uh, the space on the drive is marked as available but the file is actually still there. Without something like this, so you may, like Tim says, you may have an old tax return. You, uh, you think it's gone because you put it in your recycle bin and you emptied it, but you know what? Somebody with the right software can pull it right off. If you tell this to get rid of all, uh, to wipe all the free space, it solves that problem for you. That's exactly right, and it's so important. You want to be charitable, you want to do the right thing with reusing technology, but you don't want your secure information to end up in the wrong hands. So there you have it. That's a pretty cool program. I think, and especially the price is right for free, how wrong can you possibly go? Now, where can they find this? It's going to be available as a link at the end of our video, Steve, and we're also going to have it, of course, on the worldstart.com website in our tips section if you search for CC Cleaner. Check it out. I think you're going to like it. Thanks for watching today. Have a great day, guys.